Thank you for uh, your leadership on this uh, important colloquy. You know, as some of us, uh, you've seen down here, Senator Rounds has mentioned it, there's a lot of members of the Senate who are very concerned about it, but what you're seeing here is a lot of the new members, a lot of the freshmen. There's 12 new Republican freshmen. Mr. President, good to see you. You're one of them. And we're very concerned about this. And we were concerned because a lot of us ran for office a lot of us for the first time, because we saw what was going on with this budget process. We saw that, with all due respect, with all due respect to my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, I mean, they didn't even attempt to even pass a budget for a number of years. Didn't even try. Think about that. You're back home, a state government, like Senator Rounds was talking about, or a household or a business, you're not even gonna try to pass a budget? That's what was going on in the US Senate. Remarkable. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to fix that. The first thing we did, and Senator Inzi was on the floor a little bit ago, but we came here and we passed a budget. Hadn't happened in years. We passed a budget resolution. That was an important start. And then we started to pass appropriations bills. As a matter of fact, this year, to the majority leader's credit, we started working on appropriations bills at an earlier time than any time in decades. And we got 12 appropriations bills passed out of the Appropriations Committee. And then what happened? We tried to start bringing them to the floor to vote on them, to move them. And the vast majority of those bills, all of which were very bipartisan, were filibustered by the minority leader of the U.S. Senate. Now again, I'm new here. I still don't understand why they did that. A lot of us who came down on the floor were really upset when the minority leader of the U.S. Senate filibustered the defense appropriations bill, the bill that funds our troops, six times in the last year and a half. Six times. A disgrace, in my view. So what are we, what are we doing now here? More delay. More delay. We just got through a continuing resolution, which is not how to run the government. And they were looking at opportunities for more delay. For example, at the very end of this discussion, there was the idea of maybe adding additional funds for Flint, Michigan. Well, Mr. President, nobody cares about clean water as much as I do. My state has huge challenges with communities that not just have aging infrastructure like Flint, Michigan, but no infrastructure. I have over 30 communities in the great state of Alaska that don't have clean water and Sewer, don't have flush toilets, Americans, if you can believe that. So I certainly wanted to focus on that. But that's what we did in the regular order through the EPW committee with the word of bill. We're Flint, Michigan, and the state of Alaska and other communities that have challenges with clean water. We're gonna address those through the regular order. And that's what Senator Perdue is leading on right now in the Senate. Through the regular order, getting back to a budget process that can handle the enormous challenges that you've heard about on the floor here. $20 trillion in debt, an exploding deficit. That's what we need to do. And I really wanna commend Senator Perdue for his leadership you know, what he did is something that takes a lot of courage here. A whiteboard approach. We just need to look at everything anew. With his leadership, his experience, a number of us, led by Senator Perdue, have been working on this for months. For months. And this is what we need to do to finally get a hold of these enormous budget challenges. I want to encourage all my colleagues, Republicans and Democrats, to join in this process, to bring your ideas, to fix what is clearly, clearly a broken process that is not helping our nation, that is driving up the deficit, that is saddling the next generation with trillions of dollars of debt. And uh, we have the beginning of a way to start fixing this. And again, I wanna thank Senator Perdue, Senator Daines for their hard work on this. And I, I'm certainly uh, gonna be part of their important efforts as we look to put our country on a fiscal path of sustainable 
economic growth, and budgets, which we're not on right now. Senator Sullivan. 